The New York Jets travel to Green Bay to face the Packers this week. Green Bay, an eight-point favorite on bet deck. 46 is the total in this game. Now listen, I understand the Jets' angle here. Certainly Green Bay was pushed around in their season opening loss to the Seattle Seahawks. The defense was pushed around. The Jets have a big, strong offensive line that's stable of running backs. You could say, well, the Jets will be able to do what they want to on offense in this game, keep Aaron Rodgers on the sidelines, keep this one close. Who knows? Maybe win the game, but certainly eight points is enough where if you thought the Jets were going to make this game really competitive, then New York plus eight would be a worthwhile thing. I just don't buy it, though. You know, Green Bay has had 10 days to sort of lick their wounds since getting run over by the Seattle Seahawks in week one. This Green Bay offense, we've seen what they can be. Now, the Seattle defense made them look ordinary. We've seen that the Seattle defense does that to a lot of offenses. The New York Jets are excellent in the front seven on defense, but major questions in that secondary, especially the cornerback position. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be able to exploit that. I think Green Bay is going to really come out here offensively and put on a little bit of a show. Be very surprised if the Jets hold the Packers below 30 points. I do like Green Bay minus eight in this spot. Even if the Jets have some offensive success, I just can't see them keeping up in this game. Now, Green Bay is a very popular public bet, but you got to ride with the public sometimes, don't you? We've talked about that on a few games this week because there's so many games that are heavily weighted one side or the other where everybody seems to be on one side. And admittedly, this is a game where most people are on the Packers, but I think it makes a lot of sense in this situation. I'm on the Packers as well. Green Bay minus eight is what I recommend on Sunday.